Okay, I wanted to quickly start off the vlog with a Costco haul. I'll move quick because we got a lot of the same stuff, but I'll still share. You can skip ahead if you're not interested. Cauliflower crust pizza, rice cauliflower. Got two of these sirloins. We love them for steak sandwiches or steak tacos. Salmon, we're gonna vacuum seal this. Hot roast. Got this barbacoa to try. I've never tried it before, so I'm kind of excited. Got a big bag of limes. I love flavored water. It helps me drink more water. And I've been recently kind of obsessed putting lemon and lime water, or lemon and limes in my water. So I got a big bag of that. Got this cilantro lime crema. This is really good. I can only find it at Costco too. Japanese barbecue sauce, big jar or container of this. Eggs, ground turkey. Got these almond flour crackers by Simple Mills, love these. Ground beef, chicken. Got this chicken alfredo. I've actually been eating this since I was little. It's really good and easy to cook. Got these chicken skewers to try. We might grill these tomorrow. They looked really yummy. These Italian style meatballs, Mediterranean feta dip trio, cilantro, garlic, and chive, and tomato basil. Looked really good with these crackers. And then cauliflower rice stir fry. And then toilet paper, paper towels. We got Tide Pods, dishwasher pods, all of the necessities. But just wanted to quickly share the Costco haul. I went right when it opened try and beat the crowd, but it ended up being super busy still. But here's the haul for the next few months. Hello, wanted to officially start off the vlog. Had a busy morning, woke up relatively early and quickly got ready to head to Costco and Costco on a Saturday is insane. But I was just doing a restock on everything that we needed. We kind of needed to do it now you know we're still in town obviously for the next month or like six weeks so we really needed to get some stuff and then that way when we come back from italy we'll still have a good chunk of things in the freezer to hold us over for a while but we really needed to restock a lot of our stuff so that's what i went and did this morning, now I am about to head to Plato's closet. I wanted to, I cleaned up my closet last week and I wanted to take a bag last weekend, but I didn't get a chance to, so I'm doing that today. And then I have a Target pickup order of some vitamins. That's about it. I don't, I'm doing a ton of laundry today, so I don't have to do it tomorrow. So I'm on my last load, which is nice. And that's about it. Christian went to play golf. I'm wearing this cute, Princess Polly set that I shared in my haul that I did with them a couple of vlogs ago. And it's just this little short and top set. It's like kind of knit, but still breathable. A little bit see-through, but you can't really tell. So that's what I'm wearing today. It's so hot outside. I can barely walk to my car without breaking a sweat. It's so hot. Even in the mornings when I leave for work at like 8 a.m., I'm shocked at how hot it is outside. I'm like, why is it so hot? It's so humid and like wet and sticky outside. That's, that's summer, but um, yeah, I'm gonna go run those errands so I can kind of get them out of the way and then come back and just relax for the day. I had a busy week and I'm just kind of exhausted from the week and everything like that. So I'm kind of just looking forward to relaxing. I'm gonna go run the errands really quick. It's two o'clock now. So I'm gonna run those errands, drop off the Play-Doh's Closet, go to Target, and then hopefully by the time I finish Target, Play-Doh's Closet is done. Okay, it's later. I'm about to start cooking dinner. I'm gonna cook some of these Italian style meatballs that I got from Costco today and I got this idea from my sister. She said it was really good, but she actually paired those with the Japanese barbecue sauce and I know what you're thinking. It's kind of weird to do like Italian style and This but she said it was good. So I wanted to give it a try So we're gonna do that and then I ran out of jasmine rice So I'm doing this sprouted brown short grain rice 
hopefully it's just as good and then some steamed broccoli and that will be my dinner tonight i'm preheating the oven right now the rice is already cooking because it does take 30 minutes so i have it on the stove right now and i'll let you know if this combination is good like an easy quick dinner Christian and I are about to leave to go run some errands and I wanted to share my outfit. It's from Princess Polly. The little set is. It's this yellow, kind of linen-y material set. Shorts are high-waisted. I'm wearing this Brandy Melville top. This little pearl necklace is from Orate. And then this snake chain one is from Lily Clasp. This bag, I bought it for myself for my birthday, and it's from Rebecca Minkoff. I don't know why I always, all of my purses are basically from there, or they're older bags that I've just had that are like Louis Vuitton and stuff, but a lot of my purses that I buy for myself are from Rebecca Minkoff, because I like the material and the quality of them, so I got this one for myself for my birthday, and I really like it for summer obviously loved the ysl raffia bag and i feel like this is like a good quality not necessarily affordable because it is 300 dollars. so it's kind of like um a look-alike bag color is obviously a little bit darker but i love that bag i just can't justify spending that much money on a bag that's like only something i could wear during summer and then my little lace-up shoes are from tk's i'll put the name on the screen i'll obviously link them i have them in two colors it's really hard for me to find shoes these days <laughs> that i like sandals are hard it got really dark i think it's about to rain so i might change my shoes because i don't want these to get ruined but it's really hard for me to find sandals these days that i like a lot of the ones that are in style i just don't like them and i don't like the way that they look on my feet so this is the little fit for running errands i think it's honestly about to rain but yeah this is the fit i really love this little set i think my coupon code is still active with princess polly you could try i'll put it on the screen it's love lauren 20 and i bought this with my own money after <laughs> i shared everything in my haul a couple vlogs ago and i went back and bought this and i love their two-piece sets they're my favorite and i thought this would be so cute for my summer trips so this is the fit <music> Okay, Christian and I just got home from running all of our errands. We had a day. We were running a bunch of errands, kind of shopping around, and we went to California Pizza Kitchen for some lunch, went to the grocery store, and now we're home. I'm about to meal prep our lunches for the week, and this is probably one of our favorite meal preps. It doesn't get old throughout the week. Like some of our meal preps by like day three or four, we're kind of just sick of eating it. So, this one is good for all five days, um, but usually I meal prep for four days, but this lasts five days in the fridge. So that's also a good thing. I double the recipe. I've shared it with you guys before. I'll link it again down below. The only thing that we change is we use protein pasta instead. So it's that, um, salami, mozzarella, tomatoes, an onion, red pepper, parsley, and then some black olives. I'm not a huge fan of black olives, so we only do one can of it. And then there's a dressing as well. So I'm gonna prep all of this. It takes only a little bit longer because you kind of have to prep all of the vegetables, but after that, it's pretty easy. Oh, and also a cucumber, but we had that in the fridge. So a cucumber as well. And then I also, we picked up a bunch of other stuff, but also picked up some mangoes and these are ripe. And I'm gonna cut these up too. I'm excited to have this for the week. 
It's definitely one of our favorite meal preps. Okay, I finished meal prepping. I prepped some romaine lettuce in a bowl. I've shared this before, but what I do is I buy the heads of lettuce and then I rinse them and how I keep them fresh for like three weeks in the fridge is I store them in layers of paper towels in a airtight container and then I wrap here, let me grab it. Then I wrap the other head of lettuce that I don't use in tin foil and I store it in the drawer in the fridge. And this lasts up to a month in the fridge. So this is how I store the washed lettuce so it's ready to go. And then I cut up some pineapple and mango. And here's your reminder to not buy the pre-cut fruit because pretty sure that this fruit only cost me $10 and I got huge amounts of it. This was only three mangoes. One container of pineapple is $10 and you get the littlest bit. Same with mango and the mango is never ripe and look how ripe and delicious this looks. So here's your reminder to not buy pre-cut fruit. It's so expensive and it really just takes a, a couple minutes to cut it up and prep it for the week and your wallet will Thank you. Christian and I are about to head down to the grill by the pool. Since our grill on our balcony failed, we do need to buy a new one, but we're gonna go down to the pool and grill these kebabs for dinner and then probably serve them with some jasmine rice. And we'll let you know how they turn out, but I'm excited because they look really good. Okay, we just finished dinner. I did want to say those chicken skewers were incredible. There's so much flavor on them. So if you're thinking about getting them from Costco or if you have a Costco membership, definitely pick them up. They're so good on the grill. We definitely recommend and we just paired them with rice. So I did want to mention that they're really good. But I wanted to go ahead and end off this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm about to shower and get ready for bed and then get up and do another work week. So I wanted to go ahead and end off this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you're subscribed, give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.